This is Diamond. She is a black and tan Norwich Terrier. And I kind of wanted to show you how to groom a tail basically the way that I do it. A lot of people ask me how I do the tail of a Norwich Terrier. She got hand stripped. Her hair basically blew. And what that means is all of her coat was dead and had to be stripped out. And I purposely did that. Um, a lot of terriers go through, through this. And we call it blowing their coat where all their hair dies off and it needs to basically come all the way off. And I'm getting her ready for shows um, later in the summer, probably early fall. And I took all of her back coat off. She does have a little coat lift on her, um, which is good. And she also has some furnishings. The furnishing is called the back part of the legs here and the stomach, which is good. She doesn't grow a lot of this stuff. Um, very fast, which is good that she actually still had some of this that it wasn't completely um, dead. So, because it takes her a really, really, really long time to grow that. Um, so, we are going to go to her tail. So, when I groom, when I groom their tail with the hand strip, now she is hand stripped completely. The only thing that I ever will use scissors on um, is going to be part of this tail and um, rounding up their feet and trimming under the belly just a little bit here. I use thin thinning shears and when I trim their feet here, I use curves. So when I do their tails, just comb everything forward even though she is hand stripped. And you want to hand strip and you want to pull everything with the way that the hair grows. Now I'm pulling just the top part of her tail and down to and then down to the sides here. This is all going to be hand stripped. Now, you never want to go against the grain, which would be going this way. You never want to pull the hair this way. Um, that would basically rip the hair out. It's going to also be really painful for her. Now, when you pull the hair out, you also want to make sure that you're not breaking the coat. What breaking the coat would mean is basically not pulling the hair fully out. So when you pull the hair, you want to make sure that you're pulling everything out from the roots. So when you pull it, if you can see this here, I'm pulling everything out roots completely as you can see there that is all hair right down to her skin. Now the one downfall that this particular dog has um, and some dogs, some Norwiches have this, she does not grow a undercoat so you have to be very careful with that and what I mean by not having an undercoat is since she had that blown coat, when you do a blown coat, you're basically taking them down all the way to their undercoat. Um, you're taking all the guard hair and all the top coat off down to their undercoat and that's pretty much what's being left on them um, is their undercoat. Um, and then you can kind of rake some of their undercoat out because some of them can have thicker undercoat. This particular dog just does not grow an undercoat. So if you pull her sh and you're not paying attention, you will have bald spots. Um, she's not the only Norwich that's like that. Um, some of them just don't grow an undercoat. So you have to be very careful sometimes. So back to the tail. So I'm just going to keep pulling down here. Um, let's keep pulling here because I don't want to pull too, too much because like I said, she does not have that undercoat and also she will get red too since she doesn't have that undercoat. Now if you do get sometimes with the red that is normal, 
um, with the hand strip dog. Some people do kind of freak out about that, but it is normal. And some people also ask me if she was born with her tail like this. No, she was not. She had it docked when she was three days old. Um, and it did not, does not really hurt them. Um, their bones aren't hardened yet. They have up to five days before before their bone fully hardens um after five after five days then you can't dock their tails anymore because their bones fully harden so if if she didn't have her tail docked she would have a a full tail which we would call which we call natural a natural tail so she would have a very long tail um, some breeders are actually leaving their their tails um natural um now i'm still a fan of the dock tails. I think it's cute. Um, that's how I've known to breed. Um, I just think it's really cute. Um, it's big, one of the things I like about the breed. I know it's a funny thing to like about the breed, but I like the little dock tails. Okay, I'm going to stop with the hand stripping there. Um, as you see, I'm just kind of um, pushing up on her tail. She's used to this um, with the shows. Um, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt her um, to do this. She's used to it. Um, she's going to sit down because she's kind of tired. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my comb and I'm going to actually scissor all of this with my thinning shears. Um, you can use straights. I typically use thinning shears. I like the look it gets um, a little bit better. Now the reason I don't hand strip this is this is much more of a sensitive area. So that's the reason I thin all that. A lot of people that I know um, also thin this area. Um, she's like I said, she's going to sit down. And I'm basically just going along the sides here, all the way up. You always want to make sure you want to find out where the point of the tail is. So her end of the tail is here. And I always hold my think finger right at the end. She's not going to be cooperative now. Oh, damn it. So hold it. And then make a little cut there. I just kind of did a little line there. And now I'm going to shape it back up. And go around. And what I'm doing here is I'm combing the hair out to the side. pull it here sorry you probably my puppy which is her son in the background he wants to come over he wants to come over here and be in the video he wants to show everybody what not to do on the table he also is currently showing um, he beat his mom at six months of age. Um, in confirmation, we show confirmation in AKC and UKC. Um, if people aren't familiar with UKC, that's the United Kennel Club. Um, this one here actually is um, was ranked the last two years as the number two Norwich Terrier. And is currently ranked this year, um, right now, as number one um, in UKC. Um, so there's our little video on how to groom the Norwich tail. I hope you enjoyed our video and stay tuned next time for 
another video on tips and tricks. And we hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.